Good morning, welcome to the SAS. I'm here in, uh, still here in central France, and uh, if you're wondering where the SAS is, if you think of Le Mans and the 24 hour race, then you might have a pretty good idea. It is pretty much still central France. Um, it's about an hour and a half or so away from where I live. And um, it's somewhere I've uh, been to a few times. I always drive up through here when I'm going back to uh, the UK, if I'm taking the car with the family. And uh, I really like it up here in the side. It's uh, re really nice rolling hills and valleys. And there's uh, some really lovely little villages and all sorts of things to see and do are up around here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, start my day Go and get my first shot. It looks as though it might be quite nice out there for dawn. And uh, see you soon. Okay, so you can get a rough idea on the back of my camera what it is that I've done. So the church steeple is uh, its not quite on the third, it's actually over to the side of the third, which is fine with me. Um, as there is a building that is sticking out a little bit, there's a white building on the bottom with a red roof, which is a little bit distracting, there's not much I can do about that. Um, and then there's a the castle there on the left. There's, uh, there was more, less cloud earlier on than there is now, there's cloud coming in from the east, which is a little bit frustrating. So I don't know whether I'm actually going to get a sunrise um, or not. And with the sun coming up over the hill over the back there. Um, and for the eagle-eyed of you, you will have noticed that during the setting up sequence that I changed my lens um, to the 70 to 200 mil. Um, that's just to give me a little bit more reach to get into the castle and the church steeple itself. It also, uh, to live you back on there again, um, down the bottom here, uh, of the shot it also got rid of a few distracting elements as well as on the side on the right hand side uh, around here down the bottom of the town it looks like there's a supermarket or something so the 70 to 200 was able to get me in get me further into the shot and remove some of these distracting elements and look at and keep it uh, looking a bit more old town style kind of image rather than an, an old town with loads of new buildings around it so I'm, uh, I'm quite happy with this shot uh, am I going to get my dawn? I don't know. Uh, if not, it's never going to go away, so I'm gonna, I can always come back and get it another time. Until then, I'm going to start working the scene and uh, I'll speak to you in a bit. Okay, so that was Sille le Guillaume. Now, it's uh, one of those frustrating times we have as travel and landscape photographers in that um, you look at the weather forecast, you look at it the day before and it says one thing and on the actual day it does something else. And uh, yesterday, every time I looked for this particular location, every single time I looked they kept changing the weather. But I thought I'd take a chance and at times that's what you have to do. The only other option I had was maybe to have driven to the coast of France. Would I have, had, would I have fared much better? I don't know. But uh, this is what we have to do at times as travel and landscape photographers. You've just got to take that chance and get out there. If it works, it works. And if it doesn't, then you can come back. This place is not going to go away. Um, so what I am going to do is I'm going to leave here just for now and go on to my, lex my next location, which is going to be a place called saint Leonard des bois And uh, I found a point of view. I think it's today, the rest of the day, looking at the the cloud cover that's coming over now. I think the rest of the day is pretty much going to be see what it is that I can find up here in the Sart. And um, in a couple of weeks time, I think I'm going to come back 
I really like it up here. It's really my kind of the countryside that I really love, um, especially here in France, this kind of rolling landscape that we've got here. And I think just what I'm going to do is move on and just see what it is that I can get recce wise, bank all these different locations for a later date and come back and let's see what we can do with them again at a later date. What I'd love to know is why it is that the, the best composition always seems to be in one of the most awkward places. I made it to saint leonard des bois and I found the place that I wanted to get to overlook the village from up above. And uh, you know, it's a great view. The problem is there's a few trees in the way. So I tried to find somewhere that was uh, uh, with less trees and I found it, but it's uh, not the easiest place to get to. I suspect uh, my wife would probably have a heart attack if she saw where I was right now. But, you know, I'm getting the shot that I want. Um, at the moment, uh, you can hear the camera clicking away. I'm, I'm doing a time lapse because there's, uh, you may or not be able to see, but down there, there's uh, a lot of mist that's swirling about in the valley down there. And uh, just to give you a little bit of background information, this place is called um, Les Alpes Moncel. It's uh, the village down there sitting in a valley. There's a river down there. I think it might be the Sat. Um, not, sure, not too sure. I don't really know this area very well at all. Um, but it's the, the type of countryside that I really love in France. It's these uh, deep valleys and the mist-filled valleys in the, that you get in the morning and these old villages. It just looks fantastic. Uh, uh, this is why I love coming out into the countryside in France just amazing views like this and um, I'm really pleased to be able to show people the variety that it is that we have here in France, the, the countryside that we get. What I've done is I've turned uh, the video camera around so you can get a bit of a glance of the view that I have of saint leonard des bois um, Just to get to this particular view, as I said, it's not the, uh, the easiest thing, clambering through all the heather up here and uh, you can see it's a bit of a drop down there. That's okay, I think it's pretty safe up here, but anyway. So um, you can see the village, you know, not very big at all, but it's in a nice little gorge down there. Um, as I said, it's the uh, Alpes Moncel, and um, you know, I think it's a pretty decent picture. Maybe if the sun came round, was round just a little bit more, it might uh, have a few longer shadows, but I think as it is, it's fine. If you look around composition-wise, you can see um, the shadow is pretty much um, not interfering at all with the village down there. Obviously the sunlight is casting shadows on the village, um, which is the main scene that I'm after. And you'll see on the time lapse that I created and the images that I've done, um, the watch shadow I have included um, just helps to enhance the image, or I feel it helps to enhance the image that I do have. Um, I would of course light more cloud in the sky. I can see, um, you probably, probably won't be able to see from the images, but uh, in the back of the horizon there, there is the cloud that has burned off. Um, doesn't really show up in the image. Um, going against the weather forecast that I saw yesterday, completely different to uh, what uh, the weather forecasters were saying. They, they did say it's just going to be clouding over and just be a um, terrible day. It doesn't look a terrible day to me. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. So what I'm going to do is uh, finish up here and then... Uh, try and ease my way back to the car which is about a kilometre from here and then on to the, the next place that I'm going to. I'm here at my next location, this is saint sénéry le gerry and a uh, beautiful little village down there, so beau village de France, uh, beautiful villages of France. And um, there's a, looks like an old water mill back down there in the valley. The sun is, uh, well it was, the sun has just gone behind a cloud at the moment. The sun is, uh, was shining down into the valley there and lighting up the village. Um, there's a nice bit of blue sky, white cloud up there, it's perfect with this type of scene. I love these kind of picture postcard scenes that you get of these villages from a panoramic point of view. Just looking down um, and just seeing the world go by is absolutely fantastic. So uh, what I'll do now is just give you a quick explanation of what it is that I've set up um, to give you an idea of why it is that I've done this particular scene like this. Now what I've got in the back of my camera here, um, well first of all let's just give you a breakdown. So I've got my Manfrotto tripod, the, the 410 geared head there. Um, I've levelled off 
the uh, the spirit level here is I've got I've employed my uh, 1.4 extender with a Canon 24 mm tilt shift. I started looking at the the zoom lens that I had on. I saw it was at roughly 35 mil, so I thought, okay, well, let's just put on the tilt shift. That uh, will make everything look a lot nicer from my own perspective. Um, and then I just started to look around at the scene. So over on the houses, on some of here, um, unfortunately, there's some satellite dishes and stuff. So I did my best to avoid some of those um, there is a satellite dish on the house that's just here or just here and um, unfortunately that's how it is could you clone it out yes um, other frustrating elements um, obviously people have to live here but there's a white car park down there uh, different time of year with a tree that's there that would have hidden the car um, is that a problem no it's not really a problem it's just uh, one of those little intricacies we have as photographers when you're looking at scenes all the time. Um, I'd say one of the really nice things is the sun is shining right down into the valley there um, and the cloud is coming over a bit and there's uh, breaks of blue sky so it gives you that really nice kind of picture postcard feel. And this is somewhere that uh, it is a recce. Um, I am happy with what I've got um, but I'd certainly like to come back here maybe in spring and certainly autumn I'd like to see this. I think with uh, the trees back there in autumn colour, I think this could look really nice. Um, just absolutely nice, you know, getting to almost winter sunlight again. But I think the, the autumn light on there, that could actually look uh, very nice indeed. So I think this is going to be banked uh, and come back, as I said, maybe spring, autumn, um, and get this again, different light, different feel. Um, and what else is there to say? Just another beautiful area of France. I'm still in the, the village of saint Cenary and um, I've come across this little chapel here and uh, about half an hour or so ago I was playing around with the time lapse of the chapel just looking uh, just looking this way guess, towards the east and um, it looked quite pleasing but I thought I'd have a just wander around the chapel and see if there's anything else that was uh, interesting and of course there is still the, the, the church on the back of the hill there and um, Originally I was trying, this is some of the problems you get at times when you're doing this as a, as a job, it's not just snap happy. You come across situations whereby you see a scene and you have to just sit and work it and see what it is you can do. So first of all I just uh, put on my usual tilt shift lens because obviously there's a building there and that didn't work. I added the extender, that didn't work, it's just too, still too far away. I just wanted uh, to get some kind of perspective with the chapel there and also the church on top of the hill. And the problem with using a wide angle, of course, is although everything's bolted up right with the chapel, the church on top of the hill actually looks quite far away. Um, so I've put on my uh, Canon 28 to 70 mil lens there. And sorry, I'm rubbing my hands. It's actually quite cold this morning. I've um, got the uh, Canon 28 to 70. It's on around 50 mil or so. Um, and it's been able to bring the two together and give, um, as our eyes see, around 50 mil. Um, it was the same as around a 50mm lens, it's brought the two together, it looks quite nice, I'm not sure it works or not, but uh, um, I'll show you the image just after this. I've now made it to my final destination of today. Um, it's, you can see obviously that it's not sunset, um, but uh, there's a reason behind that which I'll explain in a minute. Um, Hopefully behind me you can see this beautiful walled uh, little village, uh, walled city. And um, I won't say the name of it just yet. Um, I'll keep, just keep it under my hat for the moment. But uh, I'm very pleased to find this. Uh, it's a lot easier than I thought to be able to find this spot. And um, I'm looking at it. It's definitely a recce shot at the moment. Um, it's the wrong time of day. Well, if the sun was out it probably wouldn't be too bad. Um, but at the moment... Uh, the sun is behind a cloud bank just up there, which has been the bane of my life today. So, um, what have we got going on composition-wise? Well, I'll just explain. Now, this is how I've set up. Now, why have I set up like this? When I first arrived, uh, I could see the vista behind me, and I thought, that, wow, that looks really amazing. I, I can see all sorts of potential for this scene. Um, and then, as soon as I got closer, I saw all these rocks. So to me, I wanted to create a correlation between these rocks 
and uh, the walled city back there. So what I've done is I've added, I've put on my tilt shift with a 1.4 extender just so it brings the castle just a little bit forward um, and it doesn't look too small. And then what I've done um, is I've added a bit of drop shift and then there's a bit of front tilt so that uh, the, the depth of field from the castle to these rocks down here are just sharp from front to back, um, that shine fluke principle. So uh, that's, that's how I'm set up at the moment. It's, uh, but as I said, uh, the one just little frustrating thing for me at the moment is I keep seeing the sun peeking in and out of the clouds, um, but it's just not, uh, it's not to be um, for an afternoon shot here. But that doesn't matter. It's not too far away from where I live. So um, this, as I said, it is a recce shot anyway. Um, I'm banking this and then I'm going to come back later on and get it again and on, on another day. As I mentioned, this is my last shot of the day. Um, I just have a family commitment that just has to be taken care of. Um, that's just how it goes, these things happen at times. Um, but what has happened today is I found some really nice places that I'm definitely coming back to in better light. Um, some of them have been not too bad. Um, this one I definitely want in different lights. It's, uh, it's worthy of some of really nice misty morning with mist swirling around there. Um, as I said, it's banked. I know where it is now um, and I'm coming back to get this maybe actually in a couple of weeks. Now, speaking of which, there will be no vlog next week. Um, that's just because I have family visiting um, over the next week or so. Um, but don't worry, in two weeks time, uh, there will be another vlog. And maybe I'm gonna end up back here. Maybe I'm gonna do the morning here in two weeks time. Uh, and there's also something else I have planned for the evening, something really nice, a nice building that I know of um, that's, that does a really nice reflection in the river. Now, what I am going to say now is thank you so much for everybody that has subscribed in the last week or so. It's very, very appreciated. I really appreciate all the people that are also taking time to comment. Um, thank you so much for interacting with the vlog. It makes it so much more enjoyable for me to know that there are people out there that are watching and enjoying what I do. So until then, I'll see you in about uh, just under two weeks time or around two weeks time. Thank you. Bye.